Welcome back to the Pump YouTube channel. As a part of our Everything You Need to Know Before Pre-Med series, we are super excited to help prospective medical professionals gain the insight they need when making program selections and choosing the right path for their own medical journey. With that being said, we are beyond excited to start our series with the University of Toronto's Life Sciences program. The University of Toronto has consistently been ranked as Canada's number one university for graduate employability from a wide variety of recruiters from numerous sectors due to the university's overall ability to prepare students for the workplace and provide a world-renowned science program. U of T's Life Sciences program allows students to learn scientific methods to study living matter, health, medicine, and illnesses. This education helps them understand and analyze human and other organisms' behaviors, whilst preparing them to address ethical, social, and political issues related to protecting the ecological balance that sustains the world. Now, with a quick understanding of the objectives of this program, let's jump straight into the specific admission requirements for the life sciences stream. At a general level, the University of Toronto expects students to obtain an equivalent of a secondary school diploma whilst completing at least six grade 12 University U or University College courses. Of the six courses taken, a university level English course must be taken. In Ontario, this would be the ENG4U course. Specifically, the university only demands four prerequisite courses in the form of English, Calculus, Biology, and Chemistry at the university level, with physics being recommended but not mandatory. For the four prerequisite courses, a high 80 is what is recommended by the admissions committee, but like for most programs in Canada, it would not hurt for students to achieve a mark within the 90s range to have a more comfortable chance of getting into the program. Altogether, the official listed admission average of matriculants into the life sciences program is 88%. Now that we've had a look at some of the academic requirements, let's take a quick look at the cost of tuition. Cost of tuition is dependent on which type of applicant you are, and fees are subject to change. To begin, for non-Ontario residents, the expected overall cost of tuition is $6,910 per year, whereas Ontario residents can expect to pay $6,100 per year. Finally, international students are expected to pay $62,950 per year. Upon admission, students are initially placed in an admission category, such as life sciences, rather than a specific program like done at other universities. After completing at least four full credit equivalents by the end of their first year, students become eligible to apply to a specific program. To enroll in second year courses, students must choose either one specialist program, two majors, or one major and two minors. A list of these programs can be found in the links provided in the description. In terms of first year courses, the recommended course sequence has students complete one biology one chemistry, one calculus, and one physics course within each term, with an opportunity to add electives to the required courses. In the fall semester, most students take Adaptation and Biodiversity, Chemistry, Physical Principles, Calculus 1, Introduction to Physics 1, and Introductory Psychology. During the winter semester, students take Molecular and Cell Biology, Introduction to Organic Chemistry 1, Calculus 2, Introduction to Physics 2, and Effective Writing. Understandably, after first year, with students specializing into their own respective majors and programs of choice, the course sequence can differ. Outside of the classroom, the university offers various different opportunities for students to really grow into their profession with a plethora of research opportunities. With a great connection to the hospitals in the Greater Toronto Region, UFT collaborates with these hospitals to create various summer research programs exclusive to UFT students. Specifically at the Sick Kids Hospital, they annually offer two prestigious research opportunities via the Summer Research Program and Sick Kids Clinical Research Training. On the other hand, St. Michael's Hospital offers the Keenan Research Summer Student Program, whilst the Sunnybrook Research Institute offers the Summer Student Research Program. Other major research opportunities off campus include the Holland Bloorview Ward Family Summer Student Research Program, the Woman College Hospital SSRP, the Women College Hospital Emily Stowe Scholar Program, the Princess Margaret Hospital programs, and finally the Baycrest Summer Student Program. On campus, the school offers various research terms to students who applied under the Institute of Biomedical Engineering, Medical Sciences, Faculty of Biochemistry, Molecular Genetics, Medical Biophysics, Immunology, and more. Other UFT-specific research programs include the Amgen Scholars Program and the Charles Hollenberg Summer Studentship, which are all deemed as great experiences for any student to get involved in.
Hi, my name is Selena and I am heading into my third year at U of T as a psychology research specialist. So just to very briefly talk about my research experience, I didn't have any going into university, but in first year I applied to the research opportunity program and I was very fortunate to receive a position. So in the summer between first and second year, I was working in a developmental psychology lab as an ROP student. So I got to present at lab meetings, present at poster sessions and receive course credit. And then I continued in this lab as a work study student over this past year. And then I also was a volunteer RA in a cognitive psych slash neuroscience lab this past year. So that was very interesting. And now this summer I'm working in the my deaf psych lab as a UTEA student, University of Toronto Excellence Awards. That's like a grant where um, I get a stipend for working full time over the summer. Um, so yeah, that was a very, very brief summary of my research experience so far, but please feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I'm more than happy to expand on my experiences or answer any questions. In terms of campus life, University of Toronto is split into three main campuses, Scarborough, Mississauga, and St. George's. Located in one of the country's most multicultural neighborhoods, the University of Toronto Scarborough, also known as UTSC, is a hub for research and experimental learning. It connects students with their studies innovatively through community-focused learning and international development co-ops. UTSC offers a vibrant cultural scene and chances to work and volunteer at the Scarborough General Hospital. Home to the Toronto Pan Am Sports Centre, this campus is near Lake Ontario, the Scarborough Bluffs, and the Rogue Park Scenic Hiking Trails, providing some of the best natural beauty in the GTA. At the University of Toronto Mississauga, you can access top academic opportunities in an intimate, hands-on learning environment. The campus features award-winning facilities and is situated on 225 acres of protected greenbelt land in Mississauga, Canada's sixth largest city offering an urban university experience in a beautiful natural setting. Finally, the St. George's campus is found in downtown Toronto, offering a rich urban university experience. The campus blends century-old architecture with modern design, featuring landmarks like the Norman Roman-esque University College, Gothic Revival Heart House, the innovative Leslie L. Dan Pharmacy Building, and the Gold Ring Center for High Performance Sport. It includes the green spaces of Queen's Park, surrounds the Royal Ontario Museum, and is near the Art Gallery of Ontario. Altogether, the St. George's undergraduate faculties and the Faculty of Arts and Sciences college system provide students with an intimate community within Canada's top research university. Hi, I'm Ren, a second year U of T life science student, and I'm here to tell you guys about campus life. So there are many ways to get involved in campus life, with the easiest one being clubs. There are many clubs at U of T, and they're probably the best way to make friends at first. So you can look for clubs by going onto their Instagram pages or by going to U of T student organization portal. But I would recommend that as a last resort because they don't tell you if clubs are still active or not. My personal favorite way of looking for clubs is through clubs fairs. There are many clubs fairs going on during orientation week with the biggest one being UTSU's clubs fair. At clubs fairs, you can meet other members. You can uh, see demonstrations. You can learn a bit more about the club and sign up all in one place. If you're living on residence during your first year, chances are the residence will also hold many events where you can meet other residence members, uh, de-stress during exams, or just have some fun. If you're an arts and science student part of a college, chances are your college will also hold many events and you should keep a lookout for those. For example, I'm an Innes College student and Innes College is the cinema college. So they actually held bi-monthly movie viewings in their own theater. There's also no shortage of student unions and academic clubs at U of T. Based on what classes you're taking, they'll automatically enroll you into the corresponding student union and you'll start receiving emails from them. You can participate in their elections, have a voice in their actions, and get involved super easily. Academic clubs are a bit harder to find, but usually they'll come to a, their corresponding first year level course and give a short speech. If they don't, you can go on Instagram and look for their pages, or some of them will also attend clubs fairs. These are super good to get involved in if you're passionate about your major and want to make an impact. But don't be scared about joining because you don't think you know enough, because everyone starts from somewhere and there's no one who expects you to know everything just by before you join. Don't let in university scare you into not participating into sports either. UT has many varsity, intramural, and club level sports that you can get involved in. I would recommend going to kpe.utoronto.ca for more information. 
this is just a small taste of what U of T has to offer in terms of campus life and as a school in general. And I really hope this helped you learn a little bit more about U of T. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. We hope you were able to learn more about the application process to U of T's life sciences program. With a rich student culture, amazing opportunities for research, the program has produced a significant number of medical professionals and built a reputation as one of Canada's best pre-med programs. With that being said, on behalf of the PUMP team, we wish you the best of luck in applying. And if you have any questions about this program or any other Canadian pre-med programs, be sure to join our undergraduate admissions Discord server, pinned in the comments, as well as on our official website and Instagram page. Thanks for watching the video. Video. And if you found the video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope to see you in our next video.